horse friends and welcome to the imperfect question as you can see i'm in the trailer i've got both horses and we are going on a ride with a friend today so let's look forward to that and i'll see you in the woods So we're back at Fanani Woods, only this time I bought a friend. My friend Vicky will be riding Comanche and I'll be on JJ. I'm just getting ready to mount up and set off, but before we go, I'm going to give my friend a little bit of advice. Yeah. If a horse ever gets too close to them, yeah, push off the post yeah. and you'll move or tree and you'll move the whole horse's body away from it. Okay. Rather than getting your knees to Yeah. Okay. If you physically push the post over, yeah. it'll push them over physically as Okay. Well done, yeah. Hook up your air jacket. <laughs> and we're off. Yeah. Okay, no going left, can't she? I must apologise, I gave my friend Vicky the 1X to wear and I was wearing the X4 camera. Unfortunately, I hit a wrong setting on mine, so the image quality was no good to use at all. So I have managed to save some of the audio from it so that you'll be able to hear some of our conversations, but all of the footage will be from Vicky's 1X camera. So I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Oh, I can see the waterfall. I know I can't. No, that's it's a, a weird, It's that a reflection one. on the... It looked like a waterfall. It was a reflection. Yeah, well, the, there is a weir there. <laughs> see, there's a little weir there. Are you okay? Yeah. If I get too far ahead, let me know. Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's quite sprightly. Yeah, that's for Comanche. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Paddle. So that's a footpath down there to the waterfall. Yeah. It's not far down there. And this is where the bridal path goes. JJ, don't be. Ooh. I don't know why she's suddenly funny with puddles. She's not normally. <laughs> she like that, didn't she? Yeah. She's not keen on the puddles, is not, she? You're not today, you know. She does normally walk through them. Yeah. But then I've normally got like Pete or someone with me, so yeah. maybe it's because she knows she's in the lead. I've got to be buff. Maybe it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> It's an anti puddle day today. Mm -hmm. There's no more drops that I know about, it's all fairly 
<laughs> hilly but level. It had been raining very heavily in the morning so we were so lucky that it had cleared up and we actually didn't get any rain while we were out at all. Obviously the guys had to stop for a snack break, both of them, you know what they're like. It's getting sunny now isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I know. You just don't know what to wear, do you? No. <coughs> that literally changes every minute. <laughs> oh, did you get prickled then? As you know, this place has quite a small car park. So we've been very fortunate to be able to park the large trailer and car in a way that we could get the horses out. I think it helped that we'd had such poor weather in the morning, most people hadn't wanted to come out because currently it's the school summer holidays so you'd really expect somewhere like this to have a lot of people around at this time of year. No, we don't want that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when we had Crystal and Comanche as, as youngsters, yeah, that's what it was like all the time. It's like Crystal would walk like this, even though she was smaller, yeah, and he'd be like that, yeah, and we'd just constantly be like trying to keep up with Crystal. So did you? When did you first get Crystal? When? Yeah. Just before she was three years old. Oh, okay. Do you know her story about how the start and that? Or yeah, you do, don't you? About the I lake. know some of it, but yeah, I'm a bit. I wasn't sure if you'd had her from as young as you had Comanche. Obviously, no. obviously not. I knew her from a bit younger than Comanche. Because um, she was shown to me to buy when I went to buy him and she was younger than him. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, she, I'm she, overtaking you. That's all right. No, it's fine if you do. It doesn't matter. We'll catch up. Trust me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I knew, knew her from, from then. Um, but I, I didn't have her because she wasn't as colourful. And I wanted a gelding, really. Yeah. Um, and I had choice of the boys. So I picked him. And then um, it's only because Pete wanted one later on and she'd been bought and then that lady had had that accident where she'd um, killed someone unfortunately and gone to prison oh, and yeah. they'd got left with her at the, at the stud so they basically yeah, forgotten that bit yeah so the lady had bought her and paid for her and started paying like a rent to keep her there when the accident first happened but obviously when you're in for prison for so long you, you run out of money don't you yeah um so that's what happened. So because she owed so many months uh, rent and she weren't paying her upkeep for the horse, yeah. eventually they decided that they would sell her to pay for what was owed, yeah. in other words. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was about the time we were looking to, to purchase. Right. And they said, well, we have got an older one because normally they've only got foals. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously I'd met her before and that, so Pete really liked her. Yeah. So yeah, we had, we had her. Oh, so did Pete used to ride more then? Yeah, well, not exactly more, but a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more than once a year, which is about what we get at the moment. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. He, he was uh, reasonably new in the relationship and he was trying to be the horse person. Oh, okay. But, well, I suppose it wasn't just that. It was just uh, he might have liked it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's worth trying something new, isn't it? So, yeah. And he, he did, he, he cantered her and uh, yeah. we took her to the riding schools and we'd go out on mini hats on them and th I mean there wasn't that much to ride around there that wasn't really busy roads but we yeah. did ride on the roads but not big long stretches, just bits that you knew that you wouldn't go too far. So you actually trained Crystal back to and everything? Yeah, yeah, well we started training both of them 
and then we got so far down and because at the time I was still fairly new to Pirelli so I was really a level one person not even past my level one at that point yeah um I wasn't confident to go all the way so we trained them as much as we could and then we found someone that I mean, there wasn't really natural horsemanship people around at the time. Yeah. Uh, and although Pirelli people would train your horse, you had to have passed your level two, and they wouldn't take on your horse to train unless you personally had passed your level two. Right. So it, that wasn't really an option. So I just found someone that I, at the time I thought was as sympathetic as could be towards yeah. natural horsemanship, um, which turned out to not quite be the case, so I found out later on, but right. not to quite a bit later on. Yeah. Uh, but I tried if you know what I mean yeah yeah and then um for the last bit of training where they had to like learn to canter and stuff like that yeah we, we sent them to that person and uh I think he had a bit more I think he had crystal for not not many weeks maybe three weeks yeah and Comanche a bit longer because I'd got further in crystal's training than Comanche because Comanche was stubborn yeah uh, and like I said I didn't really have the um toolkit to yeah to, f to fix it It wasn't too long after that I passed my level one and then I've gone up and now I feel confident enough to I'm very slow <laughs> but I do I can train as you can see with JJ yeah I can train yeah. Them. oh yeah doesn't mean that I still wouldn't like to send her off somewhere for some more hours put on her yeah <laughs> with someone who's a bit more confident than me but you know JJ, you are going to get kicked in the face in a minute. He's... I think you are confident. Do you not feel like you no, are? No, I feel I, I'm what, permanently riding? terrified. Riding? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Uh, I'm always, I think, two things. One, I'm always in training mode. So I'm always kind of got my ear on, like, what's she doing? How do I correct her? How do I can make it better? What can I do? So I'm yeah. never just like, like, good on, on a, a dog trekking pitch. pony or something like that. You'd be a bit more, also. Thank you. But yeah, if you imagine a trekking pony, you'd be a bit more like looking at where you're going and things like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm always more aware and alert of what's going on and yeah. things like that. Do think that's because you're a responsible person? No. <laughs> well, no, I don't know. It would be nice to be more relaxed. But because of like how I am as well, I don't get many hours on them, if you know what I mean. They're yeah. all split up. Yeah. So they'd be more settled if they had more hours on them. I don't think you want that one. Yeah. It's like, I mean, like when was the last time I came out to ride? At least probably, I don't know, a month, two months ago, something like that. So yeah. they, they've, for going out into the world and experiencing the world, they had like about an hour at that point there or could, JJ did Comanche's not been out for a long time now no I tend to do like small uh, small sections where I do a lot of work yeah. and then they seem to not do anything for a while I mean it does work in the long run but it's just like they're not as steady as they could be for horses yeah well, I mean, they can't, they're both really good though I mean Ah? The stuff that you do with them in the videos, yeah. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, not a lot of people can do that. I think the videos have pushed me to try and do more as well, though, if you know what I mean. Yeah. JJ, can you not put his bum so much, please? Straight on? Yes, yeah. You see little signs like that paper on there that say, no horses, then oh, okay. it fell down. <laughs> So there's nice big green signs for the, um, what you call it, bridle way. Yeah. So because you, when you broke your back, is it, did that not your ride? Right? Well, it, it didn't help. It didn't help, but I don't know. I mean, considering you go out on your own and everything, yeah. it's pretty brave. I don't have no choice there, really. No, I mean, but you do it, though. Yeah. You no, know, that's the difference. But I do miss like when I was a teenager I had like I was at livery yard and I had a girl with me there and yeah. we used to go everywhere at yeah. the weekends you know and like 
like now I've got my, my natural timer seems to have altered like if I'm out for an hour I'm like oh maybe we should go back do you know what I mean yeah. it, my natural yeah. time has completely shifted whereas we'd be gone like more than half a day out Yeah. and and I didn't think anything of it at all but I don't know it's just because I don't ride as much now I suppose yeah. and also the distances now I'm like I feel like oh they're getting tired all the time like that yeah. whereas I used to travel I, I can't even tell you how far it is I don't know Yeah. It, it's like far <laughs> really far <laughs> And was that old Comanche? No, no, no. When I was much younger, I had a cob. Cobs are great. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get another cob one day. Probably when Comanche passes, blessing. Yeah, everyone tells me to get a cob. Yeah, they are good. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Look like wooden bridge. Scary, yeah, it? I don't think so. <laughs> Shall we head back? Yeah. Um, that looks a bit like. Mm. Yeah. That looks There's nothing good. in the middle, basically. No. <laughs> How's about new no? <laughs> on that one? <laughs> if I was doing it, I'd get off. Yeah. That way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got time to look up that other track a bit. We'll see what time it is when we get back there. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, you. sorry. That's all right. She's just like power move. Wow, power move. <laughs> She's funny with her power moves. <laughs> I will swim my bum. I will run under you. <laughs> I will look at you evilly. <laughs> I 
fine. You will move. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look. Dragonfly. Really dark blue. What is that? Dragonfly. It was well dark blue. I've not yeah. seen one that colour before, and ever. No. Pretty. I thought it was a butterfly at I first. did, but then it's separate wings, isn't it? Yeah. Not too bad with the ragwort now either. No. No, because we're on that second year cycle from when we picked it. Yeah. So I was interested to see. But I think the sheep have got a lot of it down. Yeah. And then other bits we've managed to catch and pull up and whatever. So I don't know if it's a bit of a problem in the area at the minute because um, when we were going to Pembroke yesterday, the um, they had the highway maintenance people picking ragwort off the road. Really? Yeah, and usually on the verges, they don't bother. No, they don't. But yeah, they've got their little kind of like truck with a, you know, cage oh. on and they were stuffing it full of ragweed. I must admit, when we went to um, Pembrey Country Park yeah. with my friend last week, it was everywhere. Yeah. Literally. And on the verges. Oh, maybe they started to do some of it then. Maybe. I mean, traditionally, they say not to do it from the verges because it is good for insects. Yeah. Even though it's not good for anything else. Um, so I was surprised because, but whether they've had like problems with the cattle farms and things like that yeah. down there. But is then it, I think is, cows can eat it. I'm not sure. What kind I of think it. I think it's still poisonous too. I think it just horses are the worst. Yeah. Aren't they? <laughs> just clonks me, stirrup. What are you eating? Yummies. <laughs> It's obviously lunch time. <laughs> you up for trot up? Yeah. Good girl, see? Dogs and people, you're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Walk on. Thank you. See? Good girl. Walk on. Walk on. Good girl. Do you want to go that way for five minutes or just back? It's up to you. It's up oh, where, there. Yeah? If you want to. Or yeah. you go, do you worry about getting back? Don't mind getting back if you want. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Don't want to be late, do you? Go on. Go on. Walk on. Do you want to walk in? Oh, is it? She's going. She's going. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl, JJ. The van in front of us had bearded collies, so oh, that, that must be theirs. Walk on. You don't see many? No. Are they nice dogs? Yeah, they're not too bad, actually. Do they use them for sheep? Sheep. Work? There is still places that do, yeah, um, but they tend to be cut down. They don't have them in that full coat when they when they're working. They don't, don't put them with the sheep with a long coat like that. They yeah. get cut down. I think there's somebody that specifically does it for sheepdog trials. Well, yeah. with that breed, but they're not popular for working. No. She's pooping because she's stressing I won't let her eat. <laughs> when you walk around here in the winter, the pathways seem really wide. Yeah. <laughs> but they're quite narrow with all the green. Yeah. The brambles just go mad, don't they? They do, yeah. They just like shoot out like meters. The berries are all starting to come on now, aren't they? The blackberries. Good girl. Okay. 
Very good girl. Well done. Big girl. What did you say, Becky? Sorry. Oh, I said there was more dragonflies there, but not the same oh, colour. Was there? Not that same colour. No, that was a really deep blue. I know. It? Yeah. Never seen anything like that. Neither have I. Oh, more people. Oh, horses ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, people again. Good girl. Very good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Yes, no, we're not eating everything on the way. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Thanks. Good girl. Good girl. I know dogs and people. Dogs and people. Walk on. Walk on. Come. Yeah, see, see how she walked past them with the dogs and the people then? Yeah. When there was the wolf dogs here, yeah. she, wouldn't want, she wouldn't go past them. No. No. But like I, they know. Well, I realised after... Because if I don't know, I think you remember that JJ was born in a wild herd in yes. Holland. They have wolves. Do there. they? So she's like, her herd has probably come across them, and she's probably like, I know what they yeah. are. Yeah, she remembers. Yeah. JJ, come on. Come on, she didn't even flinch then when that dog growled. Yeah. Didn't even twitch. Yeah. <laughs> I bet people are looking at them hoof boot marks thinking, what's that? It's like a trainer. The trainer print in the floor, it's like from the horses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a weird shape. They've got the Nikes on. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Well, the one good thing about me being nervous and like always worried about stuff is that I do seem to produce quite stable horses. Yeah, God, <laughs> I know. Because I don't, I don't luck. Like, there's no room for me being panicked about. <laughs> well, that must say something. Yeah. <laughs> they're always a lot better than I give them credit for, if you know what I mean. Oh, they're both lovely. Yeah. People coming. And finally, a small section of video from behind the familiar Wiggly Mane. I did manage to successfully get a short section as I had realised that the camera wasn't filming properly and did stop it and start again. Over there a bit. Go on over there a bit, good girl. Over there a bit. Get on the side of the room. JJ, come on. <laughs> Sorry, she's hogging the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, walk on. Walk on, yes, you notice him now. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Unfortunately, the One X had finished filming now, so you've only got the mic sound out of my camera. Apologies for that. You okay, Comanche? Come on. No, Comanche, we're still going this way. He's like, oh. Power move. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Walk on. It's fine. We're all here to enjoy. <laughs> Hello, darling. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on past. Good girl. <laughs> thank you. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Thank you very much. Good girl.
in the winter that floods over. Yeah. Not so nice to ride then because you can't see the edges. No, no, <laughs> yeah. We're coming close to the end of our ride now. It's been a really lovely time out and it's not that often I get to ride out with friends. I really hope that you have been enjoying our ride and have enjoyed listening to the weird and wonderful subjects that we converse. All in all, the horses have been incredibly well behaved. Oh, I think this looks really like Lord of the Rings or something. And finally, we are back at the car park. Remember to push off if it gets too close. Thank you. Walk on. Yes, it's more doggies. Seen lots of doggies today, haven't you? Yes. Walk on. Good girl. Thank you very much. Hi. On our arrival back, we realised there was ah. a slight change. Ah. We, we can pull it forward a little bit, can't we? People don't think, yeah. unfortunately. Didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, you'll have to hold them then whilst we move forward, I think. Yeah. Okay. Right. Steady. Good girl. I have to remember to unhook myself as I'll explode yeah, on the way there. There we go. Right. You'll be glad to know we did sort out the parking situation and get the horses safely home. So we had a really fun ride going around Fanani Woods today and a great job Vicky's company. Did you enjoy it, Vicky? I did. It was brilliant. Yeah. So don't forget to like and share. Let us know what rides you've been on, lady, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.